today i am here to discuss about care of body after death so care of body after death when we have to do after 30 to 45 minutes by declaration of decision we can start the care of the body so what are the main purpose of dead body care first one we can provide the proper alignment of the body after uh, before the rigor mortis and also we can uh, reduce the family anxiety and also it will help to the transportation uh, to the residents. So that purpose we are doing to the care of body after death. So here we can arrange the articles before doing the procedure. You can see what are the articles is necessary to care of the dead body. First one we can arrange one tray with a lined towel and one gauze piece absorbent and non absorbent cottons and gowns, sterile gloves and a artery clamp and also we have to need all the articles for the patient cleaning or bathing the patient. So after arranging all the articles we can start the procedure. Before going to start the procedure we have to assess if a presence of the patient relatives uh, and if they wish to see the patient I, I, we can allow the patient to come and see the dead body. And after that we have to determine if the patient uh, was no any uh, isolation precautions of diseases or infectious diseases is not there we should confirm that. And before going to the procedure we should wear all the personal protective equipments. As you know what is the personal protective equipments. So personal protective equipments are hair cap, gloves, uh, gown, goggles, mask, shoe covers all the personal protective equipments are there. But here we can use mask, gown and gloves. After we are the personal protective equipments, first we have to provide the uh, position to the dead body. Here we can maintain the supine position and with the cross the arms over the abdomen and fold the fingers together and tie the thumb fingers. After that we should elevate the patient head 10 to 15 degree it helps to pooling of blood in the face and also it helps to prevent the discoloration of face. After if the opening the mouth we can keep one folded towel under the chin it helps to close the mouth. So after that we have to notice that if the patient bodies there is any tubes and any kind of bags IV bottles are there we should remove all the uh, IV cannulas, urinary catheters and urinary bags and uh, IV bottles everything we should remove from the patient side and from the patient body. After removing all the bottles and tubes and catheters we have to clean the patient body. Cleaning means if there is any fecus, urine or blood content is there we should clean with the uh, cottons and reabsorbent cottons then we have to clean it. So after we can see that the patient uh, of head is open we can tie one bandage over the chin, tie the chin, the jaw line we have to tie it. It is held to close the mouth and after this uh, we should remove all the uh, ornaments and replace and keep it the safe and hand over to the patient relatives. Next important thing close all the orifices with the cottons. The orifices you know that there is a uh, ears, nose, mouth, vagina, rectum this all the orifices. Sometime after death there is a relaxation of sphincter muscle and this when the relaxation of sphincter muscle chances to leakage of the fluid and uh, urine and fecuses. So that uh, that is why we are keeping and uh, fold up or plug the cottons in the orifices. So after this we should uh, keep the patient leg straight and feet together and tie the toes together. So next after this tie after the tie the uh, toes uh, we can keep one identification tag over the uh, toes angles and the breast. This identification tags will help to identify the patient details. 
after that we can uh, uh, put on the gown to the patient. Over the gown we can keep one more identification tag over the bed sheet. Suppose if the patient have any kind of the infectious diseases, we have to mention that, uh, that also in the tags or over the bed sheet. That will help to the other health workers while transferring the patient to the structure and to the residence. So, today we here uh, discuss the care of dead body and uh, care of the body after death. Hope you all understand what are the main uh, things we have to do as a nurse. It is very important while after giving the all the care we should record and report it also. After the procedure we should record the all the things that means uh, uh, patient when the patient died, date and the death time or uh, who is announced the death by physician name uh, and what are the procedure we done and what are the belongs we have to replace to the or hand over to the patient relatives all of this we have to record it and report it. After uh, replace all the articles and uh, uh, wash our hands. These are the procedure to care of the patient. So, hope you all understand. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet the next video. Thank you.